Hi there, my name is Nils with learn to diy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Max 4K projector. You can see it's got a big beautiful image here, but we're going to see how does it stack up against the other UHD projectors that I've owned, and more importantly we'll find out will it overthrow the projector that I'm using today in my home theater. The very first thing I notice about this projector is that it looks different than every other projector that I've owned or tried. This thing is actually really sleek looking. It's got this sexy dark color to it. It's got a little star field on top like you can see here. It's quiet and it's just got a nice shape to it. It doesn't look like this bulky kind of obtuse sort of projector like I'm used to seeing with most 4K projectors. This thing is relatively tiny compared to other projectors. In fact, I bet you could fit about four of this projector into the current projector that I'm using, which is the Epson Home Cinema 4010. This is a very compact unit. Now let's talk about some of the specs on this projector so you can see how it compares to the competition. The Cosmos Max is a 4K UHD projector. As far as brightness, this one runs at 1500 ANSI lumens. Now as far as the throw ratio or how big of an image it can produce, if you put this thing about 4 meters back, it will produce a 150 inch projection. It does offer keystone correction both horizontal and vertical, and both of those within a range of about plus or minus 40 degrees. In addition to that keystone correction, you can just select the auto keystone for vertical and it will automatically handle that. So if your screen is centered, it will handle the vertical aspect of it all on its own. On the back of the projector, we have our power cable, two HDMI ports, two USB-A ports, and a digital optical. Now it has its own built-in speakers, and we'll talk more about this in just a second, but it also has the option to do a digital optical out if you want to go that route. It runs its own software internally, so it has its own processor, its own RAM, its own storage capacity, all of that is included. This is a full-on computer and does not need to be connected to any other device. It runs Android TV 9.0 and it leverages Google Assistant using a microphone built right into the remote control. Search for 4K Projector Showdown on YouTube. And there we go. I get my video search right there without having to type anything or fumble around the keyboard. Having Chromecast built in is a really cool feature, so I can now just go right to my screen here and hit Chromecast and then go to Theater. And there we go. And it's going to connect right there. I can drag this along. And there we go. Now let's talk about a couple of the features that really set this thing apart. And one of the ones that makes me happiest and is just the biggest deal to me is the LED bulb. Because this runs off of LED, it means that you're not going to have to replace an incandescent bulb within a matter of a year or two. So that means the bulb on this is rated for 30,000 hours. That is an extremely long time. I mean, that is a lifetime of watching, which is amazing. I've had, for example, my Epson projector for less than two years at this point and I've already had to replace the bulb. In fact, I had to replace it several months ago and those are not cheap. A lot of those run anywhere from $100 to $300 for that bulb and to have to worry about that every year or two is a pretty big deal to me. So that's a huge factor in, you know, a huge win I think for the Cosmos Max. Okay, so I've got the screen just a little bit blurry here so you can see the autofocus feature. It's dead simple. Just click on the remote button that says autofocus like that. It's going to run through its process and after just a few seconds it'll lock in at just the right place. There we go. Now as far as the speakers on the Cosmos Max, this thing actually has a pretty impressive sound. It's not going to compete with a full 7.2 surround sound system with powered subs and all that sort of thing. And I don't think anything that size really could. But it does a very impressive job. In fact, the first time I turned it on and put on a somewhat bassy song to get started with, I was smiling. I was kind of blown away by how good it sounded, especially knowing that that's coming built into a projector. So a really decent sound, perfect for something like outdoor movie nights. So just for kicks, we actually set up an outdoor movie night using this projector, and we had a good time out there, although it was about 28 degrees outside, and it's January in the middle of winter here in Utah, so not the best circumstances. But we braved a few minutes to try it out. It looked great, it sounded great, the temperature wasn't the best. Now as far as specs on the sound system on this, it's got four 10-watt speakers, it has Dolby Digital Plus, and it has a pretty immersive 360 surround sound. 
But as you'd expect, the one downside to that is wherever you're sitting in relation to the projector has a really big impact on what you're hearing. You're not exactly gonna get true stereo or true 5.1 when you're sitting on one side of all of the speakers essentially. But that said, for the package that you get and for being mobile and portable and doing what it needs to do, it really is an impressive setup and it gives you that extra feature or extra option to use if you have the need. The other aspect about the movie night side of things is that you can actually just mount this thing directly onto a tripod, which is great. It just mounts on there, put a tripod foot on there, and you're ready to go. Now I've read several reviews about issues that people have had with running the Netflix application on the projector itself, and they seem to have taken care of most of that, because at this point, you do have to install the Netflix app separately through the Nebula Connect app on the projector. It does help to use the phone, whether it's iOS or Android, to try to help speed up the login process and everything. But once you get Netflix installed, you're all set and you can just navigate to it with the remote and use it like any other app. Now another feature I really like about this projector in particular is that because it's a smart projector and has the operating system built into it, it's very easy to control it with an app from anywhere. That means if it's 11 p.m. on a Friday night and it's bedtime for my kids, I can just turn the projector off if need be or they can turn it off themselves that way. If the remote gets lost, you can use your phone to control it, no problem. You can't say that about most projectors, so that is a really nice feature in my mind. Now to find out exactly how loud these are, I've got everything in the house turned off that might make noise, including the projectors, and let's listen to what the ambient sound is. Okay, so somewhere in the 20s. Now if I turn the projector on. We're in the mid 50s, but I'm also literally about three quarters of an inch away from the projector. Now if I go to a more reasonable spot, maybe six feet away. I'm not quite sure how well you can see that, but that's riding in the upper 20s from about six feet away. So the Epson right up close is in the high 30s, low 40s from about an inch away. And now from about six feet away, it's sitting somewhere in the mid 30s. So what we've got going on here is a pretty exact side by side. So over here, um, that is the cutoff left half of the anchor projector. And up here is the cutoff right half of the Epson so we can see the left. So then on the screen here, uh, the left half is the Epson and the right half is the anchor. So that's about as good of a side by side as you can get, I think. And it's pretty interesting to see the comparison. While you're watching the side-by-side -side video, I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Anchor. As you can see, they've provided the projector for me to try out, and the cool thing is they said you have full permission to share whatever you like or don't like about this projector. There's definitely some things here that I wish were a little bit better, but mostly it's been an excellent experience. Now they are running a really cool promo right now called Get In The Game, and with this you can win a $1,000 prize by entering your email with the link that I've put in the description below. And in addition to that, you can actually save 10% off of this projector or their other projectors. So this projector at the time of this recording goes for about $1,700. And so with this promo, you can knock that price down to $1,530, saving yourself about 170 bucks right off the top. So it's a great thing to check out. The link is in the description below. Thank you. 
So at this point, I've got a decision to make. I have to decide, do I want to replace my Epson Home Cinema projector that's more expensive with the Cosmos Max that costs less but has a whole different set of features? So what I looked at were a few things. Number one, that lumens factor, right? This one has 1500 lumens, which isn't as much as some. So as you saw in the side by side, in some shots that was a little bit better, in some shots that was a little bit worse. And in the end, I thought that was kind of sixes. For certain colors and certain scenes, it really worked better in my opinion. In others, it was slightly worse. In both cases, they were so comparable that I kind of wrote that one off. Now a second factor for me was lamp life. As I mentioned before, I only made it 16 months before having to replace the lamp on the Epson Home Cinema, whereas with this one I can go easily 10 times that amount. So that cost of ownership is a lot less on something that's LED based like this. Another factor is the ability to take this thing off the ceiling and then use it while you're traveling, use it in the backyard, all of that kind of thing. You've got built-in apps, you've got built-in Wi-Fi, you've got the ability to have the speakers built in so you don't need to bring something else. All of those things make it a great portable experience as well, which again is more than I can say for most theater projectors that I've used in the past. Now another factor is some of the bells and whistles that I get with the projectors that I've owned already. One of them is the auto closing lens cover. I love that and I love that when I turn it on on my Epson it just opens up. When I turn it off it closes, no dust gets in there and it's all set. I also really like the fact that with my Epsons I can move the screen around with a motorized lens unit. That's really a nice feature to have. But in reality I use that, you know, two or three times total if I, the thing ever gets moved or if I have to adjust something and most of the time that's just a dead feature that sits there. So in conclusion, as you probably guessed, yes, I am actually going to sell my Epson Home Cinema 4010 in favor of the Cosmos Max. I feel like it's an excellent projector. It has all those extra features that I want, lower cost of ownership, a beautiful image, really crisp picture, and I don't see any reason not to use this as my everyday projector. Now, if you haven't already, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video showing the four 4K projectors that I purchased side by side and pitting them one against the other. Thanks for watching, my name is Nils, and we'll see you next time.